Hey everyone, it's your girl Stephanie. Today, our team will be sharing what five items they would buy from JetPens with an unlimited budget. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter so you can be well informed about new releases, restocked items, and products that are coming soon for your next haul. Let's begin. I've been thinking about getting my first Sailor fountain pen for my next milestone birthday. Every new collection Sailor comes out with is enticing, but Harusame from the Shikiori line remains my favorite. Just look at it. Just look, just look at it. This pen is an absolute stunner with its milky green body, sparkly purple finials, gold trim, and bicolor nib. Check out my fountain pen video linked in the card so you can see the Sailor pen-shaped hole in my collection. I'll need an ink to go along with my new pen, right? Obviously. Sailor inks, especially the ones that dual shade, are incredibly beautiful. You can't go wrong with any of them. But I have to choose Byakuya for a matchy-matchy combo of pen and ink. It shades gray, green, and purple, depending on the paper you use. Fountain pens may be my main writing tool, but I've been getting more into using pencils lately. I only have big box store mechanical pencils. I know, embarrassing. They do the job, however, they aren't the nicest to use, so it's time for an upgrade. The elegance of the Blackwing Piano Box gift set is unmatched. It's like having a mini grand piano on your desk. The graphite in the pearl pencils offers soft, dark lines and holds a strong point, making them great for someone like me who would use them for both drawing and writing. My stationary weakness is pen cases. I know it and I stand in my truth. I've been eyeing the Delphonics carrying bag since it came to jet pens, and now I have no excuse. Into the cart it goes. I would use this solely at home since I'm not a journal in the wild kind of person. Finding a case that's spacious enough to hold my chonky Hobonichi half year and all of my current supplies is honestly the biggest game changer in my stationary lifetime. A couple of members on the marketing team have a donut macaroon backpack. And every time I see them, I think, hmm, do I need one? The answer is yes. I do need one. The standard size can fit most 13-inch laptops and has pockets for storing cables, pens, and other accessories. I especially like this dusty blue and mushroom colorway from the Monet series, one of Donut's sustainable lines. The backpack is made of recycled twill polyester with silicone accents. I also love these flower zipper pulls, and if that's enough to get me to buy a backpack, then so be it. Hi, my name is Anne, and I'm a videographer here at JetPins. I have terrible impulse control, and I like to buy pretty things, which is a dangerous combination of traits, I know, but that's why this video is perfect for me. I get to live out my unlimited budget dreams in five products. Allow me to introduce you all to the High Tide 30 Minute Hourglass in Amber. If you're like me, you get this because you think it'll look really nice on your desk. Can't deny that when I first laid eyes on this product on the new arrivals page, I fell in love. <laughs> Why? It's orange. I've been so drawn to orange lately. There's other colors, but this one in particular has a vintage vibe, you know? And I just, I just appreciate a good looking analog tool. Pivoting to a smaller product, I give you the Pilot S30 drafting pencil. After doing a couple of videos on pencils, please check them out by the way, I'm always admiring how it looks and feels. The wood barrel is just the right shade of brown, not too red and not too yellow. The S30 has a low center of gravity, but it feels quite light in the hand. It's also velvety smooth. And unlike the S20 version, the pencil cap matches the body. It's the little details like this that makes this pencil so beautiful. I'm going to preface this by saying that this, this isn't cheating. This is still one product line. With that said, I would get the MU My Icon Clear stamps. All of them. <laughs> it's not like you can buy just one. Some of the designs go with each other, like days 1 to 16 and days 17 to 31. And let's not forget all the cute frames and the lunar phases. This one is my favorite. Clear stamps are already space saving and these tiny versions are even more so. The logical next step after stamps is ink pads. Remember, this isn't cheating. <laughs> Me wanting all 36 colors of the Tsukineko Soramame line is not cheating. I will buy whatever I want with my imaginary unlimited budget and it will be these thimble size ink pads. Look at the theme, it's beans. These ink pads sit in a tray like beans in a pod. 
they have bean label stickers. The name Soramame brought beans. Need I say more? So this last product is really just the one. The Donut Gleam Mobile Pouch in Blue Lotus. It comes with a detachable crossbody strap that's the same color as the zipper. I wanted something small to carry my phone, keycard, and pen when I gather products for videos. All of this somehow ends up in one pocket. Sometimes I'm reaching across my body and it's, it's not a fun time. Thankfully, the pouch has slots and compartments for all of this and with some room to spare. Hello from a new voice. This is Janae from Customer Service, appearing for the first time outside my dragon's hoard of unused inks and notebooks. Since there's always room for more stationery, here's some of the items I've been thinking of adding to my growing collection. I've been wanting to get a traveler's notebook for a while now, and recently decided it was finally time to take the plunge. My secret stationery shame has always been that I've never finished a notebook. I always feel paralyzed thinking about all the things I can fill them up with. Because a traveler's notebook has such a modular system, I'm not as worried about how I fill up the pages, since I can always change out the inserts if I decide I want to try something new. Plus, the blue leather cover is absolutely gorgeous and gives those vintage vibes without looking outdated. Of course, I'll also need something to write with. Since I plan to bring my traveler's notebook with me to various national parks, I want pens that I can also sketch with. I've been using a set of Stabilo.88 fineliner pens for the past five years, and they're definitely some of my favorites. Unfortunately, I've lost a couple colors over the years, so I'll be needing to replace some of my pens soon. This roll-up set is perfect for keeping the new ones organized so I don't lose any more pens. I also love using fineliners to doodle on thick stationery cards, and I've found that 4x6 note cards are super versatile. They're the perfect size for doing a quick drawing, a full scene, or just writing down a fun quote. I always like saving my drawings and putting them in an envelope to include with gifts, so I go through a lot of cards around the holidays. A full set of 50 cards and envelopes will keep me well stocked, and these ones pair perfectly with my favorite pens. Since I've already gone to all that length to prepare a nice gift, it wouldn't feel complete without a fancy wax seal. I've been eyeing the Artisair Olive Wreath Wax Seal Stamp, which has that classic greenery design that can be used for any occasion. Plus, because the design doesn't have a clear top or bottom, I don't have to think too hard about which orientation to stamp in. The olive wreath design also goes perfectly with the time sealing wax sticks. The wax is such a pretty muted green color and having it in stick form makes it a lot easier to control. I'll definitely be picking this up with a low temperature hot glue gun to make sure I can get that perfect circle for stamping my seals. Which stationery would you get if you had an unlimited budget? Let us know in the comments. Check out all the products we mentioned in the description below and on jetpens.com, the place for pen and stationery lovers. Thanks for watching. You're like, look at the beans. No, look at the theme. <laughs> it's beans. <laughs> look at the, the beans. No, look at the beans. It's beans. <laughs> Curse you beans.